What's happening guys, it's Shane again and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be interviewing somebody who has a really interesting digital marketing story. Uh, the way that they discovered it and the way they got into the career is really interesting. So I think you're really gonna enjoy this one. Uh, go ahead, gently tap that like button if you appreciate these types of videos and let's jump into it. All right, so welcome to the channel, Roberto. Thanks so much for coming on, I appreciate it. Yeah, excited to be here, Shane. Thank you for having me. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and just get started kind of at the beginning of your, your digital marketing story. Um, if you want to, you can kind of introduce yourself a little bit and just kind of talk about how you discovered digital marketing in general. Yeah, definitely. So I'm Roberto, nice to, nice to meet you guys. Um, I am located in California and my story started back, back in 2018. And it's a very interesting one because I used to, I used to be subscribed to this YouTube channel called Engineer True because I wanted to be an engineering, uh, mechanical engineer. And that was kind of like my route in college. And I kind of like was going for it for the money, right? Wasn't really interested in it. Didn't really have anything else to do. So that's the route I went. But then he uh, promoted a course, which uh, surprisingly, you know, it's, it's Seth's course. Um, and he introduced me to digital marketing. He, I saw the YouTube video. I was intrigued. I was like, what is digital marketing? I've never heard of this before. It sounds very interesting. I went to Seth's course, checked it out. I was a little hesitant, right? Because, you know, I was, he was making all these claims that, you know, zero to 60K in one year. I was like, okay, that, so that sounds very interesting. But, you know, I took a leap of faith. I trusted Seth. He seems like a really great, he seemed like a really great guy. So I went for it, man. And I worked my butt off. I purchased the course. And honestly, it was the best decision I've ever made in my life. It, life changer to this day, it, it literally changed my course of my life in a positive direction. Um, when I was in college and also taking this course, I was working in a warehouse and it was very toxic. And I was very confused on like what I wanted to do with life. Like I said, uh, engineering was just something that I just chose just because of the money. I wasn't very passionate about it. So, I was in a very weird time in my life until I discovered digital marketing and it gave me a sense of, di of direction. And I'm glad I took the leap of faith and, 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 you know, purchased the course and followed through. with it. Wow. I, I just wanted to say, first of all, it's amazing. You were taking like engineering classes and working at the same time and studying the course. That is, that's incredible. Uh, right off the bat, like engineering is, is, uh, super hard super super hard which engineering yeah. major were you if you don't mind me asking. Uh, mechanical so actually i wanted to do civil and then i switched over to mechanical then i wanted to do electrical I, I couldn't make up my mind honestly i was just all over the place i was like i said i was just so confused on like what i wanted to do with my life until i discovered digital marketing and it gave me a sense of direction i just knew that this is this was it right i i found my purpose and I know this was, this was gonna propel me to, to success. Um, so I took the course and an amazing course, right? It teaches you everything, how to get a job with digital marketing. The, once you get a job in this industry, I feel like you're set. Once you get that first job, you're, you're, the foot in the door, you know, the, the hard work is done. Now you just have to be consistent, keep on learning and keep just having that drive to improve your, improving your career and also uh, solidify your skill set. Um, but I got my first job back in 2018. It took me about two months to finish the course because I was so dedicated to it. I would honestly study eight hours every single day because I really wanted this, right? Um, and everybody goes at their own pace, which is fine. Everybody has um, you know, different lives, right? Some people have kids, some people have other jobs. Um, I was lucky, I was fortunate to be in a position where I was able to dedicate a lot of time to the course um, and, you know, just dedicating all those hours really paid off. So after I finished the course, I solidified my resume, started sending out applications. Literally after, I'll say two to three weeks after I finished the course, I got my first job. It's a, it was a pretty mediocre digital marketing gig, not a lot of learning, but it built a very solid foundation for me. 
which I was extremely grateful because I've never had an office job before in my life. It was all physical work, warehouse, things like that, working in restaurants, working at grocery stores, physical stuff, right? I, I wasn't really good with computers other than typing up an essay for school, right? Um, so it was kind of a learning curve for me, but right, I was so motivated to excel that, you know, I'm a very tenacious individual. Um, any challenge that that's presented to me, I want to overcome it. Um, so I really think that really helped me advance in my career. And I was at my first job making about $16 and 50 cents, you know, not the greatest, but I was very fortunate for the experience and the foundation that it built for me. And then after that, I was there for about a year. And then at the beginning of 2019, that's when I got like my first technical uh, paid search position where I learned a lot of technical skills and strategy, making 55K a year. So this was 2019. I was there for about, I'll say eight months. And then an unfortunate uh, event happened to me and my, and my, and my family. So my, my, my fiance, she, was in a, she, she had brain surgery and she had a stroke during surgery. So um, oh gosh, what- Sorry to hear that. Wow. Yeah, thank you. Um, it was very tough. And it was a very eye-opening experience because after that event, I never took anything else for granted because life can change in a split second, right? So she, she, had a, she had a stroke and I had to put everything in pause. I had to take care of her. I had to quit my job and um, nurture her back to health because her family, she lives, they, they live in Texas. So I was like, I guess her only support like her support system here in, in California, but eventually her, her, her family moved to California to help me out, um, you know, with therapy and stuff. But after that event, you know, I took the whole year off and then I applied back to, uh, I started applying again um, in late December. And this is why I love digital marketing because once you have the skills in, in the experience, your, your, your skill set is very sought out for. Like people want, your skills, right? Because they're very, very valuable. And literally within a week or two, I found another job. That's how easy it was for me to find another gig because I had the experience, right? And then, <laughs> so this is 2020, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we all know what happened in 2020. Um, so I was a new guy and a lot of companies laid off a lot of people, right? Because of budgetary reasons. Um, it was a very unfortunate time for everybody. So because I was a new guy, um, they, you know, had layoffs. And unfortunately, I was part of, the, of, the, of those people that got laid off. So three months in, I was jobless and the pandemic happened and I was very apprehensive. I was like, I don't know what's going to go on, what's going to go, what's going to happen in the future. So I decided to take the whole year off and also dedicate more time to my fiance and nurture her back to health even more, which I was very grateful that I did. December that year of 2020, that's when I started applying again back into the workforce. And then again, I applied within a week. I got interviews and I got hired right away. Um, I was still making about 55K in 2020, 2021. I wasn't really advancing in my career. I was kind of stuck. And then I was like, you know what? I got to take this more seriously. I have to expand my skill set and work for a company that I know that's going to give me more valuable skills. So I started applying to big companies such as like um, U6, where, where I'm at right now. And when I got hired, um, I was getting paid a salary of 70K and then also getting paid commissions. So this is when my salary started to skyrocket. I recently got promoted this year. So the promotion, um, with the promotion, now I'm getting paid 80K a year plus commissions. So you can round it up to like 95K a year. Um, and then also I have my own side clients, right? So Mute 6 really helped me solidify my skills even further than what they were previously. I thought I knew PPC, but once I joined Mute 6, man, I learned a lot more. It's crazy how much I've grown the past year in terms of like client communication, technical skills, strategy, holistic strategy, everything. And that really made me super confident to like go out there and get my own clients, right? I currently have three clients that collectively um, I make around $5,000 um, just from those three clients. So now I'm like, there's a lot of potential. 
in this space, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have the potential to make a lot of money working for a company, but once you get really good at this, you can start generating your own clients, right? Start yeah. making more, which is crazy. Um, I didn't know how much potential there was um, in, in these skills. So in terms of like salary, right? Just to give you like a ballpark of how much I'm making or just like a projection of how much I'm going to make if everything goes right. Um, in terms of like client retention and stuff, um, I'll say I'll be making about 140 to 150 K a year. Um, and I want, and I know there's potential to make more. So I'm starting like my own, I'm building my own website. Um, I want this, I want to take this very seriously because um, I, I, I know the potential is there and I know I can do it. Mm -hmm. um, if you asked me like two years, a year ago, even like two years ago, if I would have like my own side clients, I would say, I just, I just don't feel comfortable doing that just yet. Mm -hmm. But like I said, this past year, I've grown so much with, with new six, they've given me a lot of, they've taught me a lot of valuable stuff that I, I can apply elsewhere in terms of like just generating my own clients, um, which I'm so fortunate for, but yeah, man, that's like pretty much my, my, my story and like very briefly um that's that's what's been going on with me these, these past few years so in terms of like work-life balance how is digital marketing especially your current job uh versus say like the warehouse job you were working before yeah <laughs> it's like night and day right so luckily i work remotely so i say a lot of like i don't have to do traffic um i don't have to get up early in the morning take a shower get ready um so in terms of like that, I have a lot of time, a lot of extra time for me to put into like my side business. And then also digital marketing is really big on, or a lot of companies who are digital marketing companies, they're really, they're really big on like just work-life balance, right? They care a lot about your mental health. And there's a lot of studies on this, right? When work-life balance is a priority, productivity tends to be a lot higher. Um, and in result, people are a lot happier. Um, mm -hmm. in Ute 6, right, they're a huge believer in work-life balance. Um, but in like generally just digital marketing in itself, in terms of like work-life balance, it's amazing. Warehouse, I mean, I have to be there nine to five, maybe work overtime. Um, it, I mean, it, it wasn't ideal <laughs> to be completely mm -hmm. honest with you. And I understand like I was that person who would go home and just be exhausted. I don't want to do anything else. Um, but digital marketing, it just, it just motivates me to do more. Um, and then despite like me having like a side business and then having a full-time job, I could still put time to myself and do things that I love doing. For example, like going out on a hike if I wanted to at 11, 11 in the morning um, because of like my work flexibility. Um, you just have to have good man time management skills and be very organized. Um, for example, like if I have a client meeting at 3 p.m., you know, I have time earlier in the morning for me to do whatever I want to do, maybe go off uh, to breakfast with some friends, catch up. Um, you know, it's just work-life balance when it comes to digital marketing is amazing. Um, from my personal experience, of course, not every single company is like that, but the majority of them do promote uh, work-life balance as like a priority for, for their, for their um, employees. I did want to ask you one more question. So somebody who's kind of on the fence about taking the course, they're like, they've seen it, they've seen all the interviews, they've seen like overwhelming evidence that it works, you know, like so many people have gotten results from it, uh, but they're kind of just on the fence. What would you say to that person? Yeah, just do it. I was the same. I was in the same position. <laughs> um, just take a leap of faith. If you're in a position where you see no future in your current job, um, you're confused about what you want to do. This is it. This is your sign to do it. You found the course. Um, and what's amazing about Seth's course, you have so much support. There's a lot of people out there taking the course um, and they, they all support each other. We all come from different walks of life, right? Um, but the support is what, is, if that's what's something that's missing, that's something that you know, Seth's course is going to provide. But just take a leap of faith. Trust me. Work hard on it. Be consistent, and don't give up. Eventually, you are gonna find 
your first position, like your first job in digital marketing. Um, and honestly, like I get hit up a lot, like on LinkedIn, um, Facebook, um, and just, just asking me for advice. You can come to me for advice um, as well. The alumni are so helpful. There's a lot of alumni out there that are willing to help. And because we're so passionate about, about helping others because Seth is the one that helped us find ourselves in terms of like careers, um, we'll be there for you too. What would you say, I guess, to because I do have a lot of engineering students that follow my channel. Mm -hmm. So like an engineering student who's kind of doing it for the same reason, like they, they basically, they looked at college degrees and they were like, okay, most of the college degrees are not worth it. So I'm going to do engineering because I know that engineering is worth it, which I would agree. Engineering is worth it. Um, but they're doing it for the wrong reasons. Like they're in engineering just for the money. They're doing it for purely just like a logical reason. And they're just not enjoying themselves. What would you say to that person? Yeah. If, if you're not passionate, I wouldn't go for it to be completely honest with you. I, I was in the same boat, right? I wanted to become an engineer, but for the wrong reasons, for the money, because they have the potential to make good money. And I feel like also for like digital marketing, like your, in terms of like progression in your career, like your title, it goes by so fast. Like, like for example, I know a couple people, like in a few years, they became directors, right? Wow. And it's, it's crazy. Yeah, the pro, like the progression is, super fast i've never seen it before and like this is the only industry i've seen this um you know there's people working their whole lives at mcdonald's and you know they're not even like regional managers i know it's it's crazy mm -hmm. uh, so if you're not passionate about engineering and you're just there just because just, you know just to make money or you know just i i wouldn't say don't do it um Digital marketing, I can promise you, <laughs> it's a lot funner. Um, it's not as math intensive, unless you're passionate, right? If, unless you're passionate in engineering, I say go for it. Like, mm -hmm. I love math, I love structures, I love mechanical stuff, how things work, go for it, right? It, mm -hmm. It's whatever makes you happy. But if you're on the fence, you're just not sure, like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, I don't know if I'm gonna succeed in this, or I just, I'm just doing this just for whatever reason. I personally, I wouldn't do it. Save your money, invest it on the course. And trust me, you're, you're going to kick, kick start your career a lot quicker and you're going to progress so much faster than you would going into engineering, right? Um, but that would be my advice. And I don't know what it is, it is about digital marketing. They always attract really good people. And I've made lifelong friends working in this industry. Um, and it's just like, wow, this, this is great. And working in like the warehouse and the restaurant business, you're always finding very toxic people. <laughs> um, but I've not had a bad experience in this industry, in digital marketing ever. All right. Well, hey, this was actually seriously one of my favorite interviews I've ever done. So thank you so really? much for sharing your story. <laughs> yeah. You seriously are like, uh, just, this is, really motivational to hear this interview and you know it's like the, the it's a pain like I'm sure it was incredibly painful for you but the fact that you're like sharing the story with other people is going to motivate so many people so um, it's kind of like a silver lining to to look at things that way I always try to like look at the positive uh, mm -hmm. with things and like like I, I seriously think this is going to motivate a lot of people so thanks for coming on the channel really appreciate it appreciate you Shane thank you for having me on it was, this was very fun